Hey guys, what's going on? It is currently like 6.57 in the morning and if you're like, what the fuck Jazz? <laughs> why are you up at like, why are you filming a video so early in the morning? It's because I'm so excited to open this package. I got it yesterday, but when I got home from work, it was like night time. So I was like, I can't film this video like in pitch black darkness. So yeah, that's why we're here at like six in the morning. I've like not been so keen to open a parcel in like so long. Like it brings back like those days when I was 15 and I would order something like once a year and I'd like to be like, like wait, like ravenously for the parcel. Anyway, so I ordered off Fabletics. This was probably the biggest impulse buy I have done in a very long time. Of Like I've gotten good at managing my like online shopping and then as soon as I like jumped on this website, I don't know what happened. It was like something took over my body and here we are. That's basically it. But yeah, I'll talk you guys through like kind of the Fabletics dealio after we open this package. Cause it confused me a little bit and I was like a little bit scared to order at first. So yeah, let's open this. I'm not gonna pretend I'm the biggest leggings person. I don't think I like to work out in leggings that much. Just because I get so sweaty and like, I would just think wearing leggings would make you hotter than like bare legs. Nobody's ever brought this up as a point to me. So I don't know if I just make that up or if it's actually me. I wear leggings like when I'm not sweating. So I thought I should just get some cool ones because I only have a pair of black leggings. And these are like cheap, so. Well, kind of. Okay, so the first pair I got are these like maroon ones that are like three different shades of like burgundy or maroon or whatever. And I just thought they looked so Super cool. And I also got a size extra small. I was going to get a small and then I read on the website that a small is more like an AU10 and I'm more like an AU8. So I got these, but I was like a little worried about getting an extra small because I usually just am a small. So and these look, these look pretty small, but we'll see. So yeah, they just look like these burgundy and then they go down to like pink. I don't like pink, but the band feels, they feel super good. Oh. I'm so excited. I'm going to be so upset if they don't fit and I have to give them to my sister. And then I got these black. These look like they're a new style and I thought these looked super cool. Like your proper fit. Like you got your shit together. It looks like these look like the boss kind of leggings. If that's even a thing, which probably isn't. But these are the Tanya high-waisted legging. Oh, they have a pocket? I didn't even know that. Wow, these ones look shiny, like they were, when they stretch they give you a shine. And they also only had, like you can get your inseam, so like you can get a short, medium or long inseam. And they only had the long ones in this one. And I'm like pretty tall, so I was like, we're just gonna go for it. These ones feel less stretchy, so I'm worried they're not even gonna fit. So yeah, let's just try these on, because I like, can't even, I can't even hold it in anymore. Like I need to try these on right now. Okay, so I've got the first pair on. Here they are. I think maybe I should have gone with my gut and gotten a small instead of an extra small. But yeah, I just don't know if they're supposed to be like this tight. Like I feel like, like they're pretty, you know, pretty uh, tight. And the only thing that worries me really is like this seam. Like, cause I can kind of feel it on my leg. And I've only been wearing them for like 20 minutes and it's already leaving like a bit of an imprint on my leg. So I just think if I wore these all day, would my like I lose circulation? Like, is this actually a problem we're facing? But as for how they look, I kind of really love them. I love the colour. I think it makes me look super like, you know? So yeah, this is what they look like. So I love how high-waisted the waistband is. Sitting down, I feel super just like comfortable and locked in. I feel good. Something I think the seams make your legs look like really like streamlined. Like I like how it's in like kind of a triangle on this side and on this side. So I feel like it gives like nice angles to your legs and I just love the color actually. So I'm gonna do like an all day wear test on these so I can update you just cause I'm worried about them like not being comfortable all day. Yeah, I'm gonna wear these bad boys all day and see and then I'll update you tonight. Okay, so I'm gonna go, <laughs> so I'm gonna go try on the other ones now. And I'm very excited for these, but these are less stretchy. So I'm like, 
I'm proper worried they're not gonna fit. Wish me luck. Okay, so I've got the, the next ones on and I'm really sad because they are they are so pretty. Like the fade of like this shiny blue into like this navy blue is like so pretty. But I think they're too small. Like I literally I like I'm sweaty from like trying to get them on. And I'm like actually concerned I'm not gonna be able to get them off. Like I might have to get my sister to like rip these off me or something. Oh it's just the waistband, like everything else fit okay. But the waistband is like proper like I think it's because it sucks you in super nice, but it was like not stretchy at all. So I like really couldn't get them on. <laughs> okay, I'll show you what they look like. I like the look of these ones more. I think they just look super cool. Like you're just super sporty, ready to get your like whatever you've got going on on. Alright, so I'm gonna put the um, burgundy ones back on and I'm gonna wear them all day today and I'll give you guys an oh, I have work today. Shit, I completely forgot I can't wear them all day today. Well, it's currently 7, so I'll wear them to like 11. Yeah, which will be like 4 hours. So, it won't be a half day test, if that's even a thing. And I'm gonna get my sister to try these on to see if they fit any better on her, because she's like, smaller than me. So, I'm really sad about these though. I'm, I'm, I'm really sad about these ones like being... Like, they're fine. Like, I'm wearing them right now and I'm not like uncomfortable, but I just think like if I... I, I like the kind of clothes that I keep and that I love are the ones that you can just put on knowing they're going to be fail safe, you're going to love wearing them and everything's going to be easy, you know, you don't know, like if I have a piece of clothing where I'm like, oh, that's going to take me forever to get on and it's going to be tight and like maybe too small, then I'm like probably not going to reach for it and that's not like the, that's not ideal, you know, like I'll probably keep them but They'll probably just end up being like dead pieces in my cupboard, which kind of sucks, you know? I'll get my sister to come in here if she like, will wake up. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back and I've been wearing these leggings for four hours and I just think I definitely freaked out when I thought they weren't going to fit and I thought they were too small because I just, I love them. I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you. I have to take them off in like 10 minutes to go put my work pants on and I'm like dreading it. I just don't want to take them off. I think like I still may have gotten, I don't know, I've not tried the small so I'm not sure if it would be any good but there is like a little bit of cutting in on like my ankle, like you can see like a small dent but it's not like it's gotten any worse and I don't think it would get any worse than that and also, and I also just love the colour and the fabric, like there's two types of fabric on here which I think is weird, like this light one and then the dark burgundy is like the same fabric and then the like light the medium one in the middle is like it's like a latexy not like what the hell not latex it's more like what's a fabric that's kind of like slipperier whereas this the top bit's a bit more matte and the middle one's like shiny so it's like different textures i don't know i'm into them i'm really into them actually i was worried there for a second i was like you know when you predict something to be bad and then the first tiny thing is wrong like I was like oh I think they might be too small I think they might be too small and then I put them on and they were like felt a little bit tight and I was like oh my god they're too small ah, they're too small but then like after I've been wearing them for like two hours they just feel like they're getting comfier and butterier, butterier the more I wear them and also the first two pairs I got were in the two for 24 which ends up being like two for 50 if that's in Australian dollars if you're watching this and you're Australian but I still think $25 for this pair of leggings I would pay and I really like them, so yeah. Anyway, so I thought I had to talk a little bit about like the Fabletics like process. So what I basically what I did was I went on their website after I watched a video by Abby Pullock, I think. I'll link her channel down below. But she was like testing cheap leggings and she said the Fabletics ones are really good. So I like went on the site and they asked me for my email to like put it in or whatever to become like a VIP member. And then all of a sudden the clock started ticking down from like an hour and ten minutes and it was like this deal ends in one hour and I was like that's how I got so sucked in like and did the biggest impulse buy because it was like deal ends in one hour blah 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 two for 24 only get now blah 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 and then they also have two for 24 so you can only get two pairs of leggings for $24 and then they have 50% off everything else on their website and that's 50% off the VIP price and so basically how it works as you start to put your email in you become like a VIP and so that means you get access to like the cheaper 
prices. It's like twenty dollars off, like the like the price you pay if you weren't a member, and then it also gives you access to the deals. And so I did that, and being a VIP, I was confused because I'm really like I'm really cautious about my money. Like I never sign up to the stuff that like is repeat payments. Like it took me ages to sign up to my gym because I didn't want them to like direct debit. You know what I'm saying? So like. I really like wanted to make sure I knew what it was. So basically, when you become a VIP and you like click this, like you click the checkbox saying I'm becoming a VIP member, you don't have to pay anything. All that, and then I read the terms and conditions. And basically, what you're agreeing to when you become a VIP member is that every month on the first of the month for five days, they like release a new catalog. And then you have to click skip on the catalog or you have to buy something from the catalog, but you don't have to do that. So then you just click skip and that means you won't be charged for that month. But if you like forget to click skip or I don't know, you put in a fake email or something like that, then it's going to charge you and it's going to charge you by, they have your card. So I'm pretty sure they just add some credits to your account. And so that means you're going to have to buy something later to use the credits or just like pay to not have it that month. So that's what you can do, and that's like, so yeah, you just gotta be aware of that. So when the first of the month comes, you gotta log into your account, click skip, and then that's it, all done and easy. And that's how you get access to the deals. Or you can call up, it's like 1 800 Fabletics or something, some number like that. And you can just say, I wanna cancel my membership. I tried to do that as soon as I bought the leggings, because as I said, I'm super like, I'm in on it, you know? I'm not getting charged for some random shit I don't want. That's like my worst nightmare. So as soon as I put the order in, I was like, choo! order and then I like called up the number immediately and I was like hey I want to cancel my membership and then the they I think they're pretty sneaky so I think you need to be really forceful I haven't actually done it yet but she was like oh like you just made your order if you can cancel your membership now we'll have to cancel the order and I was like bitch so sneaky anyway so I was like fine I'll just keep my membership and then I was like I like yeah that was the end of that call so I still need to call and end it, but then I, because I ordered at the end of February, I had to like skip the month and it was actually really easy. And I actually kind of liked looking at the catalog, I'm not going to lie. Although I'm not trying to waste all my money on activewear, I think it was already too much of an impulse buy to buy these, but I really like them. The other ones, unfortunately, I just don't, I just don't think they're going to work out actually. So like I made my sister try them on and they fit her a lot better than they fit me. So I think I might just try to sell them on Facebook. Or, you know, see if she wants them. That's the deal with my Fabletics experience. Overall, I think it is a good company. Like, these are such good quality. I really like them. And, like, they're not trying to hide too much what being a VIP means. Like, I think it was quite confusing, but the information was there. It was just confusing because it was different to what I'd done before. I think they... I think for, like, a overseas company, they're pretty catering to Australians as well. Like, it was only... $7 shipping when usually international shipping costs like more than definitely more than $10. Overall, I would order again. I'm not sure though I'm not sure if I would have ordered these at full price. That's for sure because it ended up being like double the price because it was in US dollars the 2 for 24 so it ended up being 50 Australian and then yeah, so it says on this tag like it's like $70 to buy these new or something like that I definitely wouldn't pay that, but that's just because it's way out of my price range, so, you know. But for what you get in this deal, I would definitely go for it. Like, what's, what have you got to lose? You get two pairs of leggings. I think I would probably... Depends what kind of leggings you like. If you like them probably tighter and more compression-y, I would say go for the size they recommend. But I kind of want to wear my leggings more for probably just hanging around and going to uni and stuff. So, for that purpose, I would probably size up or definitely read the reviews like the other pair I ordered they were new to the website and so I didn't have and also I didn't have time to like read any of the reviews because my time was clicking down and I was doing it on my phone that's what I would say but thank you so much for watching this video if you if you like I don't really know what videos I'm trying to produce right now I'm just doing random shit that I can think of like right now I'm trying to do like a 30 day boxing challenge I made a cooking video look you probably know like more than I do to be honest, but yeah. If you feel like sticking around, subscribe to this space and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!